hello guys in this video i will show you how to convert this audi rx6 model to a 3d printed model so the workflow i'm going to use you can also use the same workflow for other cars like if you have a car you can convert it to a 3d printed model using the same workflow i'm going to be doing in this video so now for this part right now i'll try to do it step by step starting with the body then the headlights tail lights then the um the wheels because the body will be a separate mesh on its own the wheels also will be a separate mesh on its own so i think and the headlight glass or cover too will be a separate model on their own yeah so let us get to the modeling so now you want to convert a model to a 3d printed model you have to try as much as possible to cover all the gaps in the model okay so let us get to the modeling so let's let me first try to hide the wheels also hide the headlights the tail lights and not really hide the windows also okay as you can see i already started the interior modeling so you can watch that in the other video as i'll continue with interior also in another video so but for this video i'll just convert the exterior to a 3d printed model so so now i'm trying to hide some parts and try to do it step by step from scratch the mirror i'm adding the mirrors also and anyway, this part also let me add this right i want to deal with the body first so let's try to add all these parts right here like so and um, yeah let us get to it so now let me turn on my screencast key and now Just select these two doors then join it together like that then switch to the edit mode and then let's try to start filling out um, each gaps so now for this I would like to make this one even so let me try to move this backwards a little bit or just slide it double G to slide like that then select these two vertices then fill it select these two also press f to fill to fill to fill to fill 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 i think we have to bring this down to make it even select these two also then fill it fill it to the end so this one also i would like to bring this down like this also try to bring this down also like that so now what i'm going to do is try to select this part then slide it to the end and then match by distance also select this one also then slide it towards the end like that also slide this one or we can leave it this that way and try to slide this down also yeah so we have that so now we can add, we can add um, a vertex at the center and then press ctrl b to bevel to give it this amount of gap i think yeah so now we can select this add a loop cut at the center of that then press alt s to extrude it along the numbers which is inwards extrude each vertices along the numbers like that it has to go deeper but not too deep alt s this i think that is okay right So now we have to try to correct some parts like this. This part is kind of clipping. So go to extreme mode, double G to slide, 
Double jet sky is also move this down a little like that. Also move this back, move this backwards. Let's try to like align them together like that. So we have this for the first cutout, top cutout in the panel. So now what you can do now is you can add oh okay we don't need to do that so we have that for the first part so let us try to yeah <clears throat> let us continue by joining this to or this also ctrl j to join and now what i want to do is i have to start filling out each gaps also yeah for this part well, let me delete this Vertices right here. Delete the vertices. Delete the vertices right here. Yeah. So now let us try to fill these two. F to fill. F F F F to fill towards the end. Like that. Oh, be careful because this part right here. Uh I will see what can I do to this part. Try to take this loop and slide it down that way. So like these two axes and fill, fill, fill. Yeah. So now I have to select the whole loop right here, like this. Oh, select on one. Yeah, select this one. Then double J to slide it. So it's that end like that and um um i think yeah i have to take this one and move it backwards say so this loop move it back like that oh and this way yeah move it back like that then add an extra loop at the center oh, let me try to do this with this like this add an extra loop at the center like that then press alt s to scale along the numbers to that point right then so now i just try to correct some clipping issues taking this one slide it to the front this take this one try to move it back Try to position it and try to bring this down a little that also try to bring this one up move it slightly towards that but i think yeah yeah for this part now we have to move this one down this part has to come down this way like that so now what we can do for this part let us select uh, just like this part all right just like this part double g is g e and f to move it closer like that yeah that way i think it's good then now we can correct this shading issue right here by adding extra loop press e then move it closer to that edge to sharpen it like that um, slide this to and push it back like that so now we've done this panel right here so now let's continue by adding the wood also change the wood to this panel right here and try to do the same approach um select these two artists right here then also fill it fill it. this one also fill 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 towards the end yeah like that and so let's try to like 
position this I slide in it I'm pressing E F to slide along the the, the other side and yep so this is our odd so now let us try to take this loop uh, this one yeah take yeah this one no yeah this like this one also oh should I touch this okay yeah can I do that then slide it press A to match by distance also do the same for this other other parts right here so like this two then double G uh as you have this like this or we can just leave this this way let's try to leave this this way take this one and then slide it like that so now we can add a loop cut at the center of that part right here then cut x to extrude along numbers or we can just move this one down push this down like this yeah or extrude along numbers or s to this point i think or s yeah i think that is okay yeah so we have something like this but we have to sharpen this edge also uh, so let us try to add the loop cut right here move it closer but not too close and also do the same for this add a loop cut move it closer like this for this part right here i have to like move this in the x direction double g to slide also move this in the x direction double g to slide and then i have to join this to this or uh, just take this old part then slide it to that part all right guys so let us try to correct some things at this part so let's try to like move this and then push it backwards or uh, no no let's take this this part right here move it back try to make this to be even the gaps to be even what i'm trying to do here so, um, for this part, let me select this whole loop, right? And then push it backwards a little bit. So, also do the same for this part, right here. I think these two parts push it back, that also push this back, that. And then for this one, also. So do the same for this. Let's try to make it even as possible. And move this back also like this. Yep. Yeah, I think we're good this way. Yeah. Also for this part, I just delete this part this is already there. like that. And also, I would like to delete the solidification modifier because we don't need it for this model. For this model, so delete the solidification modifier. And um, here we go and try to bring this down like this. Also, bring this one up like that. So, here is where we're gonna stop for this part. You can grab the free model in the description. So, thank you, and see you in the next.